Welcome back design students. In this video we're going to set up our studio lighting rig and we're going to use one that we've already used before. So before we do that though let's turn off Arnold if you have it turned on. Switch back to the viewport 2.0 render. Delete any Arnold lights you have in the scene. Delete your ground plane if you have it. And you can turn on the uh, little light switch in your viewport, um, viewport controls here. Now it's interesting that we don't have any lights at all anymore once we deleted or switched from Arnold and deleted our skylight. But let's also select all of the objects that make up our lightsabers and delete the history. Clean all that up. If you find anything like this thing that says P cylinder here that doesn't really contain anything, you can delete that. Same thing with this. You see, these are just those artifacts from when you're just doing stuff with um, Maya. It just accumulates junk like this. I grouped all of my pieces in here so I could rotate this piece of the saber so I could get a different angle on it. So I'm going to leave that alone. Everything else needs to stay. Okay, now to use our, I'm going to go ahead and save my scene, to use our existing lighting rig setup. What we can do is import it from the glassware project that we just recently did. So to do that you go to File, Import, and then you find that project that contains the studio lighting rig. In this case, in our case, it was the glassware project. and you have to import the entire scene. And when you do, what will happen is you'll get all the objects in the scene, but they'll have a prefix of glass. They'll have the same scene name prefix on them. So I do not want the glass object, so I'm gonna delete that, but everything else I want. This is the curve and the surface that make up my backdrop. These are the lights, and everything else is the lightsaber you can see the prefix class. So I now have my scene. So I'm going to go ahead and um, I think I'm going to try to group everything that that makes up my lightsaber. So I'm going to select everything and make a group, call it saber. And hopefully I can just move it all around and rotate it as I wish. So I'm going to do this, rotate it, Okay, that's weird. I have no idea why that happens. So let me select this. It looks like it's messed up in the sense that it got rotated. So I'm going to try to rotate that back down so it's level. I'm going to switch to the Arnold render and render. Try that again. One thing I notice right away is that my black plastic is um, either not black enough or it's reflecting too much of the light. So I'm going to select this and go to the black plastic and maybe dial down the or dial up the roughness a little bit and see what that does dial down the specular weight maybe just try to make it a little more black So I'm not exactly sure what's going on there, but this is how you import your lighting rig from another project. Okay, so I think I figured that one out. Uh, it turns out that there is some subsurface scattering in this material, and it is blue. 
So if I turn that up or down completely, now I have the black plastic look I'm looking for, as you can see. And I don't feel like the black plastic needs to be quite that shiny either, so I'm going to um, knock down its roughness a little bit, or increase the roughness just a little bit. So that looks better. Okay, so that'll do it for this video. And uh, in the next video, we will put the create the saber object and put the saber glow effect on it. And I'll see you then.